So I don't have help. I work my ass off. As we see, I'm always in the strip club. So if a take like my time, it's going to have to co contribute to something. Because what the fuck are we doing? Mm. I'll give you like $50. The fuck? Don't get slapped. Ha! The fuck are you talking to? <laughs> Thank you. What to do, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with the I, not a Y, do not X, Y. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a great one for y'all. Why? Because this is a full circle moment. Y'all asked, y'all begged, y'all pleaded for mm -hmm. me to bring Cali Paradise back. Uh, it was only right that I brought it back to the new studio, as y'all can see we in. So ladies and gentlemen, with no further more introduction needed, we are joined by the one and only Cali. Mm -hmm. Don't make me laugh. Dice. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Cali? Nothing much. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? They good. How are you? I'm doing great. I love your laugh, by the way. When I'm tipsy, no. Just in general, because even like when you called into the live, see this is show tomorrow. When you called into the live, like your little giggle, like when I was watching our episode, when I was editing, I died laughing. Laughing every time you did that little giggle. Oh, and I laugh. Okay. You're like, mm, it's contagious. Mm, 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 mm. Shot o'clock, though. We all know my saying. It's shot o'clock. Is it's that, shot how, is that yeah. how we're starting the episode? Introduction right, cool. is shot o'clock. So she said before it started that every hand there we're going to do a shot o'clock. It's now shot o'clock. First of all, shout out to my brothers in the background. Y'all make some noise right quick, man. Yo, what's happening? Yeah, what's shout, out, shout out to my dog in the background right quick. Hey, hey, listen, right to up. the team. Listen, this a whole nother vibe this time around. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole other vibe this time around. We we got the live audience popping off. So that's how we're going to do. But she said shot of clock, so everybody take their shot right quick. If you're watching, shot of clock Should for I, you as I'll well. I'll take another one because I took one without y'all last week. Shout out to you, Callie. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, everyone get they, get they, get, you know what I'm saying? Get they. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This one's trapped out right now. Uh, right, this is a trap. Out. This is a trap podcast. This is definitely right. trapped out right now. Look at this shit. All right, y'all, get the fuck out the shot. Right, what the fuck are y'all doing? Look at this fucking guy. They like, they need their camera time. Get the fuck out of this shot. Did you gonna give me the money? You gonna give me that money? Get the fuck out they, of here. He gonna, he's showing it because he's gonna give it to me later. Well, let's start there, shall we? <laughs> Can a guy get your attention without money? Mm. Let's start there. No. No? Like, no money? Like, he's, what do we mean? Like, what do you mean, no money? He's not giving you any money. Everything mm. else checks off. Like, but... can he contribute to the kids? Can he buy gifts? Awesome. Or that's counting as money? He, he'll he he'll buy drinks when y'all go out oh, every no. here and there, but that's mm -hmm. about it. No. No? No. No. I feel like... No, <laughs> that's not going to work. So you said no at all. So even if everything checks off. I feel like, you know, um, I've so been single for like, what, five years? So has like, it, been five years? it has. It all has. right. So let's fill in the people. So on the last episode, we briefly went over. So you were once married. Yes. For five years. For fi You were married for five years. Now you're single. Have been single for five years. Mm -hmm. or Probably yeah, going on six. Going on six. Um... So you were married. And for those who don't know, Callie is a dancer. She's an entertainer. I am an entertainer. entertainer. I do she, more than dance. Yeah, she's not a dancer. She's Dancers an are the bitches that twerk all day in the club. Yeah, and you do more I than that. I can sell a fantasy. You're very talented. You can dance, I'm a seductive though. dancer. What's that mean? I dance to sensational type sexual music. Mm, like what? I'm going to turn your ass on when I dance. Ooh. So like, what's a what's a, what's one of your go-to songs? My go-to songs? Ooh. Usher. What song? Is it called Climax or something? Climax. He has a song called Climax. Yeah. So if I put on an Usher Climax and I had money for you, you would dance on me and seduce me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a dancer. I'm going to get up and dance regardless. That sounds dangerous. Has a man has a man fell I've in love? I've been told my name is dangerous. Yeah. I you, should start by going by danger. You are dangerous, Callie. That sounds they dangerous. Like, like dangerous. That sounds like a dude would fall in love off of that. Has anyone ever fell in love off of you giving them a seduced Yeah, dance? they might have thought we was really going to be something. It's just a dance. Mm. Well, I, I turn my cell phone when I dance, too. So mm. they might think I'm into it, but I'm into the dance. You're into the dancing yourself. Yeah, not as and much I like touching them. on me. So, like, yeah. Uh, that's a sight to see. We might have to give the folks in, uh, <laughs> a sample one day. A sample of a private dance? Yeah. Not a full private dance, because we know those are... They are the full private dances? Are new, yes. And out here in Charlotte, you're not, at least on the main floor, you're not allowed to get food. Yeah, in the strip right? club, so book me. So what happens on the the <laughs> private, private dances? Just dancing, but I strip. 
I make it a whole fantasy. I'll strip down. It's in your own comfort zone. So you can smoke your weed. You can drink. You can do whatever it is that you like to do, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and keep it respectful. Mm -hmm. Let me say this real quick. All right, y'all. So it's time to plug this in. So Cali. What are we plugging in? The blind date. Oh. So <laughs> day by day, we'll have an official blind date episode featuring Cali Paradise. How it's going to work is I'm going to select five lucky male contestants and maybe one female. Who knows? We might mix it up. But I'm going to select five lucky contestants to come along and feature on a blind date episode with Cali. Right. And here's the catch. If you win, if she selects you, then you will have a fully uh, paid for date to a selection of my choice that either I, myself or a sponsor will pay for. So you and Callie will have a fully paid for date on behalf of myself or a sponsor. But if you win, the catch is we all I want to do every we got to record it. Record what? The date. Record the date. Yep. OK, so we got to record the day as niggas be lying so much. I need to know. I need to know. We got to record everything. These niggas need to be single, not married. Um, Yeah, not married. Mm, so don't not pull, married. So don't pull up if you're married. I'm tired of that. Last podcast, we was talking about that. They don't got enough money. Y'all niggas don't got enough money to keep up with that lifestyle. So side chick shit is over. I'm going ahead and find me a man. You know, because y'all don't got enough for the fantasy. They pull can't up. take care of two homes. So you're saying it's like kind of like a norm <laughs> where like a dude will pull up on you when he's married? I meet a lot of married men in Charlotte. I think y'all, like, they must get married early out here. California, you don't meet that many married men. Hmm. Well, it's the South. You know, I think Southern is more true to, like, you know. They want to be the fake like tradition. traditions. Yeah, yeah, fake, though. I um, guess it's tradition. Our grandpas was cheating and shit, too. But they know how to take care of two, two homes. They know how to keep their bitches quiet. Well, they say that's what it comes down to. Okay, so let me ask you. Would you rather... Okay, maybe your dude sneaks out a little bit, but he takes care of everything. He takes care of the bills from top to bottom. Would you <laughs> mind that? I feel like all these niggas cheat. Every dude cheats? Is that what you're saying? I think every man is not going to only be with one woman for the rest of his life. That's a hard... Respectfully. That's a hard thing to, to like, do. To I feel the same way, though. I don't probably want to be with only one nigga my whole life, neither. I might want to go indulge. That's where the swinger shit... I'm a mm -hmm. real safe zone person, so... Yeah. If you're like that, then, you know, this, the open zone would be swingers. We'll go to a swingers room and we could both indulge because yeah, I might want to switch too. shit. So y'all both like in the swingers community. Yeah, and we can keeps... both we can both get a hall pass. So, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I have a homegirl that actually was asking about the swingers community. I have no idea about it, but you actually went to an a event, few events, uh, right? Yes. So like. What is the swingers culture all about? Is it more so just you go there just to fuck other people? Or is it just the idea of it being in Multiple the Multiple things. The first time I went, I went to watch. I did okay. not join. Okay. Um, I just wanted to experience watching live porn. Mm. So. How was it? I like watching people. Was it not? not crazy. I like to watch. Does it turn you on to watch? It do. I like to watch. Yeah. I don't know why. And I like to be watched. So it was good. Like, it wasn't bad the second time I went. Yeah. Okay, well, to answer your question, I feel like it's a safe zone for people to be able to go have intercourse, but they're in relationships, especially the man, because you can't come if you're a man and you're single. Wait, what? If oh, you're single, okay. you can only come with a woman. Really? Most of the swingers. So if you're just coming there just to come there, then you can't. Not a man. You have most to pull up women a woman. are single when they come. Okay. I was single when I came. I didn't come with a partner. Okay. Um, but most of the guys are with partners. Okay. Everyone has saved words. You know, if it's no, it's no. Yeah. Basically, that's it. Shit. We all got drunk and just start, you know, vibing with each other, chilling. Yeah. Shit. And that was the second time. The first time you no, were just No, the first watching. time, that was... Okay, it was the it same difference. Okay. It went down. Wait, so you didn't I remember just... I, like, turned around. We were drinking moonshine. That's what they, moonshine. they had. That's I was, like, probably the youngest shit. bitch in there. That's some southern <laughs> shit. Moonshine. And then I like the, the group, though. Fuckers It'd be, like, people hazard. of upper class, people with some shit, like, you know, owning some shit, yeah. you know? So I like it. I don't want to just be no swinger with these, like, street niggas. Yeah, it's usually people with, like, money and position and status that kind of get into that That's type of freaky. world. That's kind of freaky. I remember one time I left the club and went home with the couple, but I only wanted his wife. So mm -hmm. he just got to watch, but... Wait, he got to watch what? You and his girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't want him. What the I mean, I told him he when he tried to come in, it's like, you could join your wife. Don't I don't want it, though. Ah, uh, you see, I that's partial. I don't that's want like the threesome. A, I okay, wanted her. So that, that's not a threesome then. I didn't even say it was a threesome. I okay. said I left the swingers club right. and I had a good experience basically. And 
he got to watch. Yeah, we talked about your threesome experience last time. Have oh, you I had... tried another one. All right, tell when us I went about... home to Cali, how was it? Oh, I didn't. Well, it's not. It's still not a threesome. I didn't do her. her See, man. then that's not a threesome. Like when uh, first of all, because it's a threesome. <laughs> It comes down to how uh, freaky the two women are towards one that's another. That's a lot. You know what I mean? But what happened with the know. one that you... It was cool. It was fun. What happened? It was fun. Shit. We yeah, you, wanna, you and the chick ain't do nothing with each other? We did. I, I, I finally ate ate a girl out. Mm. It was not bad at all. It was Can we great. get a round of applause for that? It was actually great. She was very... She, <laughs> she, <laughs> y'all are slow as shit. She was actually very clean. It was great. It was great. No smell. I'd probably eat her again, but I don't know about others. She know who she is. I was in California. No smell? Tastes good? Fiji water? <laughs> yeah, we took a shower and everything. Then Ooh. we went to the bed, you know? And I like watching her and her man, too, so that was great. Uh, yeah, I like watching. You'd be surprised at how many, like, nasty, like, coochies is out here. You you won't be that surprised. Yeah, that, exactly. You won't be I'm surprised. I'm at the strip club, so I'm not that surprised. Ooh. There'd be a lot of... The, uh, you can smell them through the drawers? Fuck that. I hear the stories. The last, last week, a customer told me, shot o'clock. Shot o'clock for this story. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Because, you know, it'd be some All right, y'all ain't got to come into the goddamn joint every time we do shot o'clock. Just toast up, start up high. <laughs> These niggas. <laughs> Listen, they this like, a whole... that. They got to rub the glass with me. This a whole different vibe. All right, so <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, I've been told crazy stories. I've been told, wait, let me take my shot, too. <laughs> if you're watching or listening... Take a shot, and it can either it don't have to be liquor. It can be water. Take a shot of water. Mm-hmm. We can we condone drinking water. Mm. I mean, people listen to podcasts on their work. I mean, work. we do drink. Mm. Yeah, but I'm saying people listen on their way to work. You know, drink a shot once you get off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, I mean, I've been told all type of shit in the strip club. Bitches be nasty. They be like niggas play with a area. You don't know where these guys' hands been. Yeah, in the club. But you gotta think about how nasty can a nigga be to touch. That shit and want to play with it. In a strip club, that's... When you niggas come up in there and do that, y'all niggas are nasty. You guys are the niggas I would never fuck with. I ain't even going to let you... I'm not even dancing for you. Has a dude ever, like, tried to, like, touch, like, play, play with <laughs> I don't even shit? play that shit. <laughs> I don't play that at all. I'm sure a dude has tried to play they with... They try... I guide hands. I'm really controlling, Ooh, obviously, in everything I do. That's so sexy. I'm going to tell the nigga where his hand's going to be. I'm going to be like, put him right here. I'll touch... Tell him, touch my ass. Mm. I'll put his hands where I want him, but yeah, we not going to um, touch the cootie cat. So if he tried, what would be your reaction? Because you're strong. For those who don't know, Carly is strong. Well, I already know before I, I oh, could feel your hand. Oh, because you're guiding him. Oh, okay. I'm I guiding guess. you the whole way through the lap dance. What do you, if you're giving me a dance. But I'm going to just move it or I'll pop him. Okay. Like, no, no, baby. Like, no, no. Mm-mm. If you were giving me a dance, where <laughs> would you guide my hands to be? Well, I always want y'all hands on the side first. Okay, to fill so it I out. So I can take control. Okay. I like to control. Okay, here's the thing. You like to control. You like to be in control. You like to take control. I like to control. I like to be on top. I like, yeah. So. Pretty much. How do you feel? What do you like when a dude in flip takes total dominance You got to be a you? real manly man for me to control, to control me. That's kind of sexy, though, because I don't really let niggas control me, so... That actually be a turn on really in reality so, to let a nigga control me. Yeah, that might be sexy. Yeah, ain't no might be. I Every, feel like it is in my inside. My energy feels sexy. Yes. If I could, if a person was, you know, smooth. Yeah. Because I don't like like no loud at like I don't like niggas that's just too loud, do too much talking. I like a smooth nigga that know he that nigga. Yeah. In general, you know, yeah. you know you a man. I like yeah. manly man. Yeah. I like rough man. Yeah. I don't really like soft ass man. I don't. I'm not a soft woman. Well, I mean, you know, we we say the whole alpha and whatever the fuck. At the I'm end of the day, alpha that's woman. what it is. But see, here's 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 the thing with me. And I was just speaking with this with um. So she likes to be dominant, right? Mm-hmm. But my thing is, every lioness wants to be tamed. She likes to be dominant, yes, but I take that as she wants to be dominated. When a woman tells me she wants to be dominant or likes to be dominated, my thing, or likes to be dominant, my thing is, okay, when she's dominated, that's a whole nother world that she's not used to and it'll turn her on way Mm. more than her being dominant. That's how I take it. And that's how she, you know what I'm saying? That's. I've, I've I've let someone control me. 
That's what I'm saying. So you, but they're really nasty. You gotta be really nasty then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, though. Yeah, but you I'm be saying, nasty. like, you I don't like, like to be, don't be no you're scared. You're typically aspect. used to being in control, right? <laughs> what I'm saying is, when a dude is in control with you, you gotta be nasty. You really like that. Yeah, but you gotta be nasty. I don't yeah. like no, not nasty like spit in my mouth. Don't do that shit. I would slap the fuck out of you. You spit in my fucking mouth for fighting. You don't like. I, I now, I mean, I had a nigga tell me to spit on him. I will spit on you, but don't spit on you me. You don't like a dude spitting nah. on you in your mouth. <laughs> so if we was fucking, I'm hitting you from the front. I was on top, and he was like, spit on me. I was like, shit, okay. Right, that shit got nothing Fuck to do it, I ain't never done that, but I'll do but it. But if I'm on top of you and I told you to stick your tongue out and I spit on your tongue. Ooh. You, if I spit I don't know how drop. that's going to ruin the but moment. But it's, it's, it's in a great oh, moment. Like, I don't know. It's very that's a intimate. Lot. I'm no. stroking you from uh, the front and I let it drop. You wouldn't like that? No. For real? I don't spit in my fucking mouth. Do not at all. You better spit on the pussy or something. Don't spit in my mouth. Well, and see, that's why it's important to communicate beforehand, right? It is. It I is. think yeah. to learn a person sex sexually is really important because yeah. I ain't going to come back if you can't please me. I'm going to be real. So if a guy is having maybe, let's say, troubles with pleasing you, are you the type to guide him or just be like, okay, it's not happening? It depends on how he's depending. He's trying, but it's just not hitting. <sighs> how many, are you going to okay, guide him? After the second time, if it still ain't hitting, are you I can't guide do this. Him? I'll guide How you because you don't know me. How else will you learn? You, you won't. You don't know me, and I'm not like everyone else. So I would have to guide you. But I'm saying, if the performance at the end is not delivering the mission, mm -hmm. would you prefer? If for, I ain't. Would you prefer for <laughs> a guy? Let me ask you this. Would then you, no, I don't want to come back. I hate boring sex. I was married for five years, and I was not sexually happy. So is that like a norm? It was cool. Is that a norm, like with marriage? Like, was that because you were married? I don't know. Like, been okay, married this one is time. the only person I'm gonna deal with. So like, he wasn't nasty and, either, though. Um, so now, and it's like now I know what I like in different ways. You gotta be nasty. You gotta be a freak. Mm. So if everything, or you gotta else, be open to shit. Yeah. So if everything else checked off, but he wasn't as freaky and mm, bad, mm -mm. you couldn't deal with that. Well, that's where the swingers room kick in. We're mm. gonna be in the swingers room all the time. So how important <laughs> is sex in a marriage? Oh, it's it's a, it, for me, shit. It's like eighty percent. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it's the truth. Like, what about for you? Yeah, it's important because I like quality. I like good quality sex. So, like, if I'm married, then shorty gotta we gotta be able to really lock it in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, absolutely. I think in general, I think people play themselves when they say sex ain't that important with marriage. They lying. Yeah. They gonna be cheating. Yeah. They gonna be the first ones cheating. That's what it leads to. Are they niggas me. gonna be the ones trying to, you know, pay? Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I think it's very much important. Yeah. Okay, so, but to answer your question, because for the speed dating, they need to know this about me. So, yes, I do like a man that spends money or want to come around and help or do something. Because, uh -huh. like I said, I've been single for five years, mm -hmm. and I have two kids, of mm -hmm. course. So, you got to like kids. You got to be good with kids. Well, I mean, that's further down the road, Callie. I don't, I mean, we're not start, We're not getting, we're not starting there. <laughs> Shit, they need to know what they like, though, okay, before they okay, come to okay, the sit okay, at respect, the table I respect, with me. I respect, I respect. Because we know I'm going to chew their ass up. Yeah. We know I don't do no plan, you guys. So. She don't. When you come to me, please come to me prepared. Yeah. And well put together. Yeah. Please. And be on your shit, fellas. Listen, she's... she Because she, I will run a background check if I need to on your ass. She's a tough cat right here, but she's worth it. I'm not. I'm really soft as fuck when people get to know me, everybody yeah, say. Yeah, that's why I just but said she's worth it. But on the exterior. Yeah, she's a tough cat. But see, I think that's the I think that's the best. When a woman is... when For me, when a woman is just obnoxiously dominant the whole way through just to be because, and that's, who wants to deal with that? <laughs> but on the show, when she's dominant, just for her to have that soft nucleus for you to come in and take control of. I just gotta know. That's the sexiest I just gotta know they're genuine, yeah. you know, and they're not using me. Because if yeah. you use me, I'm gonna use you. How, uh, use you how? How can I Shit, use they, you? How do people use who? Women? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you. How would a man use you? <laughs> that doesn't <it> don't matter. <laughs> We um <laughs> we're not gonna answer that. <laughs> well, again, like I said, five men. So if you're interested, there's multiple ways. If you're interested, DM me, shoot me an email, daybydaypodcast at gmail .com. I myself would love to be in it, but it'll be a conflict of interest, and I'm a host it, so I can't put myself in it. But I would love to be in it. Honestly, I think we would have. If me and you went on a date, it would be a great time. You think so? I know so. I don't know. I'm a great vibe. What do you mean you don't you know? You cool, I, but you just said you like friends with benefits and you don't like to establish a title. So nah, really, in reality, that would not go great with a woman but like why, me. But why does I'm it have, big on titles. But why does it have to go there off bucks? Off the first date, you're big I'm, on titles? I'm a cancer. I'm going to be in love like in three weeks. Callie, off the first date? You guys, I'm crazy. I don't know what the fuck y'all ain't getting.
But I'm saying, like, if we went on You the... ain't noticed my little crazy stories and shit? I could tell by your I'd be like, I'd be like, I my tell... man, my man. Next week, I'd be like, I'm single. Yeah, I have noticed that. <laughs> I have noticed that. But I could tell by your life. I love your hard. But I'm saying, if we went on a date and the date was stupendous, that doesn't mean you... Do you automatically go to, he's my boyfriend now? I don't know. It depends how much I like you. See, then you're, you're fucking the game up. I don't go like I I'm don't crazy, so I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah. Okay. Then maybe we shouldn't go on a date because I'm a great. I'm a and great. And then and then I'll be like, let me go put it down. If you put it down, I'm gonna come home, cook and clean. I'm gonna start ooh. trying to sweep things off his feet because I'm big on nurturing. Ooh. I love to nurture a person. I'm a you cancer. will lock him in. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get your ass mm. when I want you. When I want something, I go after it. Mm, mm, mm. Everything I want, I get. If Pretty me, much. If me, but if, uh, there is some things where I learned that I didn't want it after I got it. Uh-huh. Like what? Some niggas. <laughs> some of these men. <laughs> like the one girl, I didn't want her man no more. I thought I wanted him when she had him. But when I got him, I realized, nah, she could have this nigga back. Why do women want what they can't have? Like why? I could have it. I had it. But but, but here's the thing. I thought he was doing more, but, but I didn't know what she was doing. Once you saw he was in a relationship. But I didn't know what she was doing. Sometimes these bitches be keeping the nigga up. Okay, but I'm saying you wanted him when he when you saw that he was in a relationship. No, I didn't know he was. This was the lying ass married dude. Like, okay. Continue. Wait, you said she was keeping him up? So okay, like, okay. So sometimes I feel like you don't know the role the woman is playing in the back. She mm -hmm. could be holding the nigga up for him to be the nigga that he is in front of you. How so? Providing shit. Ain't no telling. I'm from California. Bitches take care of niggas sometimes. So mm. I don't know about Charlotte, but I didn't see it where the nigga don't really have the money the bitch do. Mm. So that in that aspect, so then when you get him, would you take care of a dude? No, if not at all. My father you, is a stand-up man. What, my daddy will look at me like, "What are we example? doing?" He's a great example. What's my, your dad's name? Just to be very clear, my dad's dad name is name? Reginald Harris. Hey, shout out to Reggie. Can we? Can Reggie, we, can we? Can we? Can we applaud like Reggie? This damn child. Can we applaud Reggie? <laughs> can we Wait, applaud what about Reggie? my mama Desire? Can we applaud Reggie? Yeah, Desire we'll, too. We'll give it up for your mother, but I'm saying like the okay. fact that your dad set a good example, set a good tone for the type of dude that you should look for a stand-up dude. That says a lot. He's a chief. My dad's a chief. He's a fireman. There we go. Because I'm um, saying he's an EMT driver. My I'm dad saying, don't play. He's a real man. But you man. see a lot of women that go for dudes that don't have shit going for them. Mm -hmm. And it'd be some of the baddest women. Yeah. And shout out to Reggie. Um, nah, he ain't going to play that. He going to let me know. He he didn't like the last situation. So he that, didn't like Oh, he no. caught it for what it was? Oh, yeah. He didn't there entertain go. that shit. So that's why you that's saw why I've been single for five years. Life. Oh, he didn't like your husband? No, why at all. He, well, but he's then, big on providing, a man providing for me. He mm, didn't feel like he was a great provider. Mm, Respectfully, he felt like it was, you know, what you doing with my daughter? You're 20 years older than her and you're playing with her. So speaking of providing, there's some type of, excuse me, there's some type of thin line today between a man understanding when a dude should provide for a woman, when the woman is tricking or when it's prostitution. <laughs> there is. So can we break down that distinction, please? Is it a shot o'clock? Are we taking our shots? Shot o'clock? Shot o'clock! Shot o'clock! Give it up for shot o'clock! Let's do it! Let's <laughs> shout right, out to shot o'clock. D-Rock, hey, y'all gonna see my brother D-Rock on the next episode, man. It's gonna be a fucking movie. Um, so, like I said, can can you help wait? Break, this wait, break down what the distinction because today men are having a having a hard time. It's a thin line. Men are having a hard time They're realizing hard time. the distinction. Yes, it is, Cali. I'm They'd speaking from slow. a no. I'm speaking from a man's pers okay. perspective. But, what? but the distinction between providing, tricking, okay, so and providing, prostitution. We're going to start down your list. If I get lost, remind me because you know I get Providing, lost. tricking, I, and prostitution. My ADHD be kicking in, y'all, and I get sidetracked. Providing, <laughs> tricking, and prostitution. And I say that because a woman will say, I'm not going to fuck with you or I'm not even going to have sex with you unless you got money. So men are like, is that prostitution? But then. Okay, women, so let me go down the list. Let's do this. Okay, so I feel like this. Of course, if you're not trying to be in a relationship with a woman and you're trying to only speed the process up. That's probably tricking or prostitution. I don't know what the fuck, whichever one you want to call it. But at the end of the day, you want to rush the service before she's ready to have intercourse. You got to give up something. But the women be rushing it. Okay, I don't know. I'm not them. So I'm I can saying, only speak from my point of view. women be on some, I'm not going there with you unless you got money. It don't even be I'm talking man. about niggas that ask me for sex. I don't know about that. So oh, I don't, oh, I don't case, pursue, just, I that, don't pursue it anyone. It sounds like they're trying to get straight to it in that case. Most, in that yes. case, they're trying to pay for prostitution. Yes. I don't mean, yeah. Shit, and I'm going to treat you like a motherfucking nigga, like a date. What do you mean by that? If I'm not going to text you. Only hit me when, this, when you ready and you got money for me. 
Have you ever engaged in that when a dude was like, I'll pay you for sex? And have you ever? Yeah, I'm a woman. If a bitch say she ain't, she a lie. Okay, so. I don't fuck niggas for free. So, I mean, any nigga that is around me is going to contribute to my life. That's what I'm saying. So, you just said, yeah, you have, I'm a woman. Would you consider that prostitution? I consider whatever to fuck the world. No. No. I yes. don't. I don't consider it prostitution. Yes or no. I consider prostitution walking on the blade, literally picking up dates. But here's, like California. Okay. You feel me? Like okay. a real, a real bitch, like a real three oh four. Or like sugar Creek Our out shit. here. Or the Bay Area, they got blades in Oakland, they got yeah, blades oh, in yeah, Stockton. Yeah, oh, yeah. LA is not the only place. I know. Well, it's they big, got it's blades bigger in than Sacramento. In the, it's they got them in the everywhere. Area, ain't it? That's, it is. It's way bigger than the area. It is. So I'm just that's a prostitute. That bitch gonna get it by whatever means. But see, here's the thing. And she gonna do every day whatever she she ain't gonna turn a nigga down. But see, here's the thing. So it's not prostitution here's, for me. Exactly. <laughs> here's the thing, Callie. Here's the thing. Today y'all say that's what prostitution is when she's on the blade, when she's on the strip, when she's on that's the strip. That's my working. opinion of it. A lot of women have that opinion. But here's the thing. The definition of prostitution is basically uh, we go off definitions sex for money. And shit. If we go off a definition, then niggas is tricks. Okay, then tomato, tomato. Then women are prostitutes. It's yeah, niggas is tricks. That's fine. I don't care what you call me. Just pay me. <laughs> <laughs> Give a fuck what you call me. Can we toast to that? Shit. <laughs> Give a fuck what they call me. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care because you know what? People don't pay your bills and they don't make sure you're okay. So you have to live and not give a fuck. Do what you want to do and be happy to the fucking fullest because. Mm. Because who's going to take care of you when you broke? Nobody. And the reason why I bring that up, I don't bring that shit on nobody. Because first and foremost, I love, I don't want to say I love. They, they do love the hoes. I ain't going to lie. But why they got to be hoes? Technically, they're hoes. If you're so, a prostitute, you're a hoe. Okay. Oh, we talking about prostitutes. Well, yeah. I'm saying technically to me, every woman, I mean, if bitches is fucking for free and they struggling, it's crazy. That's Ooh. just, huh, that's mind bottling. Like, who taught you hoes? Because <laughs> that's mind bottling. So what is that? What does that become? What is that? Nigga just wanted free pussy? I don't yo 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 yo. I don't I don't speak about when I when I speak about that shit and hoes, I don't speak of that to belittle them. I just speak it on it as some I speak it on some I don't think they do, both feel Do you not realize what's what like do, do, do are they in denial with the fact that they're doing what they're doing? Yeah. Hell nah. I'm talking about Hell women nah. that are doing prostitution. My best friends shit. are real 304. If you ever want one on your show, let me know. You feel me? And she'll come up out here and let y'all know. Hell yeah, tell her pull up. Both of y'all pull you up. You know, she she's in Vegas, you know, real bitch. You feel me? Did her shit. She had her folks. Rest in peace to my uncle. <laughs> You feel me? Yeah. Um, and I, then provide. So it was prostitute. Providing and tricking. A provider is a man who actually wants to get to know me. He's coming around trying to get to know about my kids. He's trying to help to see what I need help on. So if that's a man that's coming around like, what do you need help with? What can I do to make your day easier mm -hmm. today? Damn, your light bill. Okay, let me get you $100 on your light bill. Okay, I might ain't got much, but let me give you 200. That's a provider. You're providing okay. for me. Right. You're not worried about the intercourse or what I could give you. You're worried about providing and taking things off my hand. Really, niggas get more pussy like that. See, y'all play yourself when y'all rush the process with a bitch like me. That's just real. I'm a, I'm gonna tax you if you come at me crazy as fuck on God. I'm I ain't gonna lie. So if they play it cool and just let it be what it is. If then... they genuine, uh-huh. If you got intentions, then mm -hmm. it's gonna show. And I'm going to use your ass like you're using me. Mm. Wait, if they, you say if they. If they got intentions, that means you got secret intentions. That means you're not coming, oh. trying to provide. Okay. You're not okay. coming to try okay. to get to meet me. You okay. don't want to know nothing about my kids. If you say on a snake route, you'll snake them too. I'm going to snake you. I ain't snaking you. It's open. It's, it's very clear. Mm. <laughs> it's transparent. You get what you give. But dudes still go for that. Even knowing. They do. Some of them is okay yeah, with it. I don't knowing. mind. And I'm okay with taking your money. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Tomato, tomato, right? <laughs> Pete turned down, nigga. <laughs> that I'm shit not, turned down. Yeah, I ain't tripping. Um, I'm with whatever. I'm a cancer. I let people set the tone. Like, I'm really off of energy. You're from the yay area, like we said before. That's heavy on pimping. It is. And it's um, in me. My daddy, my, I mean, not my daddy. My uncle was a pimp and my mom was a madam before, so. Really? So were you ever intrigued to, uh, like, join that world? No, I was too scared. I, I was too scared to walk a blade and shit. Mm -hmm. I tried. I don't know how to do that shit. I was, I feel some way. I started back yelling at the niggas. Who the fuck you talking to, nigga? Because <laughs> you know they be sweating you when you on a blade and shit. Yeah. They sweat you. Like how? 
hey, bitch, what's up, bitch? If you, you feel me, you better get down with pimping, bitch. What, you know, they gonna pop at you. They gonna sweat your ass. You talking about a trick or a pimp? Oh, no, the pimp. They okay. gonna ride by on the blade and be like, uh, bitch, what's up? Step your hoe up, bitch. Get down with real pimping. That's what my uncle used to do. You feel me? That's tea money all day, nigga. <laughs> 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 you feel me? And he gonna be right out there, right out that window, like, yeah, bitch, if you know what's best for you, you feel me, you gonna choose that. Yeah. You know? If yeah. she look, it's a wrap. Uh, bitch took. <laughs> if she looked and she took. Well, Goldie said, you know the you know the game. She chose me. So break that down for the people that's tuning in when I say I mean, I could break it down, but I ain't gonna lie. I don't wanna fret like I have folks or nothing ever in that like. So no, I'm gonna only just break saying, it down from what I, you, what my uncle taught me. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. I'm just saying when you say when you look, you took, I know what it means, but just for the folks tuning in, like if a bitch on the blade and she looking around or she and got blade folks, is a whole stroll. That's I a, mean shit, that's casinos could be a blade too. Anywhere where is is tricks working, it's pretty much a blade. So you're saying if she looked Oh, you call bitches tricks or three or four working? I call them tricks. Hoes. Oh, that that term is just just I think it's more defensive. That's the that's <laughs> so what do you call them? Three oh fours? What the three oh fours? That's what they call themselves. I don't know. I mean that's it stands for a hoe, but it's number. Three oh four is hoe. What are we talking about? It it's, just, matter. it's the same fucking difference, Kelly. <laughs> what are we talking about? It's a mind thing. Bitches oh is crazy. God. You know we gotta hear certain shit. Ho is a hoe. It's the same difference. That is true. A hoe is a hoe. Yeah. When I say trick, that's not nothing. It is what it means. I'm just talking shit. I know you are. <laughs> that's why we're here. We're talking shit. I'm just picking at your ass. I know. Okay, what was the question? Um, I forgot. <laughs> what does it mean when you say she looks, she took? Uh, if she in a game uh -huh. and a nigga sweating her mm -hmm. and she looks, mm -hmm. she chose that. Mm-hmm. Mm. So she, if she, she was, not supposed to look. She supposed to keep her head down. Mm -hmm. Long as tell his bitches, keep your head down, bitch, and don't talk. If she has a pimp already, yes. Okay, now say she looks up at the pimp that's talking to her. Bitch, what you entertaining that for? Mm -hmm. You must want to go check that nigga out. She does. So now what? She's hit. so now that nigga gonna walk over there and really pursue her, and then he gonna serve the he gonna serve her pimp the papers. Mm -hmm. He gonna go ahead and call him, hey, bruh, your bitch took the other dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other dude just got. I thought like I'm it. giving a lot of game for free though. <laughs> what do you want to put this on Patreon? What do you mean? I mean, you need to put it on OnlyFans or something. You okay, know, we, learn can, the game. we can. We can it's a lot of ass simp ass pimps out here. Simps is niggas that's boyfriends. You bitches like a lot of those. The niggas that play like they're your boyfriend and then you mm. know you pay them and they only got to fuck with you. That's not a real pimp to me. Mm. My uncle was a real pimp. He had about four five bitches in his stable. Mm -hmm. Ain't no bitch think that they was his girlfriend. Everybody knew they place. Everybody knew they role. Everybody knew they was contributing to the motherfucking the the whole fucking shit. Yeah. That was a real pimp. He ain't lie. He he did his shit. Mm. These other niggas that gotta lie and act like, oh, I'm only fucking with you and kissing your bitches and doing all that. Uh, Y'all fucking up pimping. I know my uncle would tell me that. They say if you lie, do it if by you lie, force. You ain't pimping. Or gotta put your hands on her. Oh, I don't know. My uncle had to slap a bitch a few times. He might have <laughs> broke a bitch jaw before, so I don't know. Mm. He pre he passed away, so it's okay now. I can tell. R.P. Uncle, hey, uncle what? T money. R.P. T money, money all day. Straight up, R.I.P. Right, real Valel shit. Fucking cup. He from seven oh seven. What seven oh seven sack? Valel. Valel. Oh, Valel, Valel, California. Valel, ain't where you forty from? Uh, yeah, I was already say that's where water from, ain't it? E forty. Who you call him? Water. Said water. Forty water. <laughs> what the fuck? Ain't that his name? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I call Not him E forty. They do say that in one of the songs. Yeah, forty water. That's his name. <laughs> Um, That's like the old ass shit. Odie. Mm -mm. Do we, did, did you have a question for her? Yeah, I do. What's up? Um, so like, so like, like when you walking on the blade, um, like, like I'm talking about a man. Like, a, oh, can a man sweep me off my feet? Yeah, a man. So let's rephrase that question. Can a man sweep me off my feet? Ain't got nothing to do with the blade or nothing. Yeah. Okay. Can a man sweep me off my feet? That's the proper question. Yes, that man can sweep me off my feet. I like to be wine and dine. I love flowers. I love to eat. Everybody know I'm fat as fuck. I love my tequila and Red Bull. Like, say a man do that. Do, do, do you take that as like weakness? No, that's, I'm giving examples of how to sweep me off my feet. So I don't think it's weak at all. Go ahead, your list. You said you're fat as fuck. I am. Everybody know I like to eat. You're a foodie. Have my tequila and my Red Bull ready for me. <laughs> you did have the same combo last time. That's all I drink. It's Can tequila. Can you pull up with a Red Bull in here? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ass. <laughs> I'm trying to get on your way, Red Bull and shit. I spilled my cup earlier. What the we fuck? We both did. My shit dry, though. Some junk shit. What the hell? <laughs> we not drunk yet. I'm tipsy. I've been I'm I feel great. I've been drinking since last night. I always feel night. great, though. I stopped drinking. <laughs> I've been... I, 
I thought ho- I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because she did. You're confusing the both of us. We'll get, uh-huh. we'll we get to lost. it, but that's kind of long-winded right now. But we'll get to it. Um, but no, I've been I've been drinking uh, since last night, technically. Um, sex. Do you hmm? prefer drunk sex? Sex? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> drunk sex, high sex, sober sex. I don't care. Them. Sex is sex. As long as it's good sex. <laughs> Morning sex. And good sex and nasty. Mm. I don't want that boring ass shit. Are you freaky or nasty? Depend on the person. Are you freaky or nasty? I'm freaky with the right person. Okay. What does it take for the right person to bring to it out? To be freaky you? already. If he if So he, does the so the man has to set the tone? Yeah, I just said that earlier. I let the man set the tone mm. and everything. But I'm gonna tell you, like, we feed off of your energy as well. So if I know that you're freaky and nasty, that'll make me want to, that'll provoke me to be. I like being choked. I think that's very obvious with my videos. I think I've never, ne- I've literally never met a woman that's not like to be choked. I like to be slapped a little bit. That's, what's that's normal. Uh, yeah. People, not every woman likes it. Like, you like to be slapped? No, fuck no. You better I can't not slap you when I'm right no, Cali. Like, no, what the fuck? You better not slap me, Cali. <laughs> I'll throw you the fuck off me. Now I might like being thrown. <laughs> <laughs> that was turn it up even more, huh? No, don't fucking slap me, Cali. Yeah, if throw me against the wall me, type shit. I don't like to be choked. I like even violence, so, I guess. I, I, mean, I like violence. I like inflicting sex. it, but as a man, I don't like being choked and slapped. Like, no. Nah, oh, I just. It's I, just kinky. I mean, it is if I'm doing it. But handcuffs, what you, nothing. I like to do it to you again. Oh, no, I'll be you're handcuffed. I'll, no, I'll be handcuffed to the bed. One thing I like to do. Oh, so you can't do nothing to you. No, I didn't say that, Kelly. Don't make it sound like I'm just born. He can't out here. smack you. No, no don't handcuffs. Slap me. You can handcuff me. I'll I'll be handcuffed to the bed, like I'm laying on my back right here, and you just. Nah, like, you gotta be cuffed to the side of the thing. I'll do that. I really would. If I know you though, if I know you really down, I gotta cuff your ass like that. I will do that with you. <laughs> I trust you. I trust it will be a good experience. So if it was me and you, I would let you like You're cuff hella me funny. <laughs> and cuff my legs to this joint and you Yeah, you gotta up. cuff the whole body. I will let you do that. Okay, too. I ain't gonna lie. Never mind. That's weird. That probably sound weird. Nah, I, say I always wanted to like like, okay, I need a partner for that, a real partner. Like be cuffed, That's like like the like, nigga like, come in like he the robber. Uh-huh. We in, you know, and yeah, play like he the robber and he taking the pistol. Yeah. I don't know why so that's no, like a bad no, 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 no. That's the thing. It's called like uh this is fucked up. Ah, but it's is, called, I got a mental problem? No, it's not. A lot of women <laughs> like it. It's called like roll rape. Oh, you know. It's a thing. That's sad. Okay. It's not <laughs> sad. A lot of women like it. It is what it is. I'm not saying. Everybody I'm, fucking face. Bro, it is up. right. You see their face. They're like, what the fuck? Bro, it's a real thing. I might thing. even go deal with some trauma before my, no, from my past. No, well, we all have trauma, but I'm saying it's a real thing. Like, because women Well, I've like, experienced that before, so maybe, damn, I... Well, and that's another thing. You know what's crazy? Oh. A lot of women that have experienced that before either they turn like out... that type of stuff. Either turn out nymphos or not I've sexually been told I'm a nympho. I think you are. That's so crazy. I think you are. I do like a lot of sex. Not with a lot of people, though. I That's mean, why I bought new toys. What type of toys you got? We should have brought them. We, we I was about to say, I think it. I got it in my bag, but I think I don't. We could have <laughs> talked about it. It's like, okay, so a question from really... the audience. Smitty said, how do you like the rose toy? Is it, is it what that it's hyped up to be? That one was all right. It, it wasn't even all that. Is the rose what it's hyped up it to ain't, be? It ain't all that. Make yeah. my pussy too fat, but that little, that little hole. So what does the rose do exactly? It's like licking it. Oh, it's so like suction in it. It's something that comes out it's of that sucking hole. Sucking it. Oh. It sucks. It sucks it. You said your joint too fat for the rose. Like it's cool, but it's it. I don't like it any more. More uh, vibration. Brumpski. These toys be loud as fuck too. Yeah. I know my neighbors be like, "What the fuck?" But I don't right. care. Yeah. Everybody grown. Mm. So what does what does what does the uh, so what toy do you enjoy now? Because everyone's on a rose. It's not way. a dildo toy. It's like a toy that you just sit for the top. I don't like dildos. I don't like toys that go inside me. Wait, you said it's a toy that does what for the top? <laughs> it sits on the top. Okay. I don't like toys that... I don't need penetration, I guess, that much. Would you look at a man... I've been by myself for five years. Would you look at shit. a man any type of way if he, have a, if he had a sex toy? No, what kind? Fleshlight? No, like a, fe- like a, a female yeah. toy? No. Play pussy? No. Just like me, shit. <laughs> I'm going to start getting those for the show. I'm a, I'm you never get, tried a toy, a guy toy? I've never tried a guy toy. You should try one. I never tried it. I don't know. But I'm intrigued. Have I any mean, of you guys tried a guy toy? For the audience, audience, has anyone ever tried a guy toy? Man, pause, 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 pause. Yes, yeah, like or nay? Like the pussy pockets. Pause, 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 pause. 
Niggas. No one? We are men. <laughs> they said we are men. <laughs> They're going to just go get the pussy. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Pretty much. Yo, Kelly, it be hard time. Sometimes we just got them. True, but you could get a toy for when. So let me speak for men when. Let me let me really let me let me speak let me speak for men when I say this as far as why we're not as quick to grab a sex toy as women are, because it's like you don't want to depend on that. At the end of the day, for men, it's about chasing. Okay. I get that. That's, the chase. that's like a third of our existence. Okay. That's a third of the reason for our existence to get coochie. So like when you're substituting that with like fake joint, you don't wanna you don't wanna like depend on that. You don't wanna be like, oh, I don't even know we need to go out there and get the real deal because I could just fuck this. That's fake that's why joint. it's bad for me. To, yeah. Well, I don't but need but it women no is more. different because y'all can get a man. Like that. It's not like that with us. We the I chase. Feel like women the chase, men can get no, women. No, 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 easy. no, no, no. Let me finish this, goddammit, Callie. <laughs> the chase, the hunt, and the kill is the ultimate trifecta. That's okay, what a man y'all dogs. That's what a man does. When a Mother man gets dogs. the chase, successfully hunts, and successfully kills. Do you know what the fuck? That's like uh, I mean, that's I wonder, do they be feeling good after they hunt me? Yes. I would. If I hunted you down, I'd feel good as shit. Because you look good, and I know you're a freak. Thank you. And I know this shit will be top-notch. Can we cheer to that? We can definitely cheer to that. Did you know that people thought me and you fucked after our I first def- episode? Yeah, you tell me. Yeah, a few people No, did. he ain't get the coochie. Not yet. Sukiana with the good coochie. Nah, not yet. I'm Callie with the good coochie. Callie with the good coochie. <laughs> not yet, y'all. Did I say not yet? I Did said, I say that? I said no. Oh, yet. that's what you said? Oh. But even when I do, <laughs> y'all wouldn't know. If he do, he don't know the fuck he gonna get. Y'all wouldn't know. He's talking like he just think he gonna get it. We even don't know all I that. Do, y'all wouldn't Nigga, know. Nigga, he put no work in. Shot o'clock. <laughs> yeah, better... Shot o'clock. <laughs> right, shot o'clock on that one. Right, walk the fuck through. <laughs> Can you pour me some more, too? <laughs> Shit, why we at it? She needs she need some little bit more, you know what I mean? Um... <laughs> Who would get quicker? Who would get sprung quicker if me and you were to hook up? We wouldn't know that. We know I'm a cancer. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm in love quick. Well, it depends. Do you spend money? Yeah, I'll take you out. No. Just give you money for it? Just because? I said spend money. Like, do you help pay bills? Do you? I've never done that. Do you contribute to kids? I've never do you, done that. You know, kids got activities. I've never done that. Yeah, so I probably would not <laughs> I've never at all. I would not be the one sprung at all. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be me. I would rock your world, though. I don't want my world rock. I want a nigga that's the full package. Well, I got my toy to rock my world and not pay no bills. Your toy is nothing like. But the toy flesh. ain't paying no bills neither. Your toy is not I don't like want dick that don't though. come with bills paid. So the dick has to come with bills paid? The dick got to come with something. Is that all you got to offer? Again, is that not, <laughs> it's, again, is that not prostitution? Call it what you want. <laughs> but I'm just asking. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, no, nah, my dick just comes with... Call it what you want. That's not di- prostitution. A- prostitution is you meeting me on a corner, and I'm no, telling you... No, it doesn't have to do with service, the corner. You're not Y'all even giving me money. But technically, you no. not even got to give me the money at the same time. Y'all ask to drop on the bill matter. today and come see you me next week. You only want my dick if it comes no, with money. No, I don't want to fuck, and I got a struggle still. That's what you're not hearing. Mm. I've been by myself for five years. I, one baby daddy's you know passed away. The uh-huh. second one, since we've talked, he's now wheelchair bound. And um, I know he's wheelchair bound and at a convalescence home. So I don't have help. I work my ass off. As we see, I'm always in the strip club. So if a nigga take my time, it's going to have to co- contribute to something. Because what the fuck are we doing? Mm. I'm a grown ass fucking woman. I don't want to just have no fucking fun ass sex. Been there, done that shit. I play with my toy. I don't need that. We got to be fucking for something. What are we doing? I'll give you like $50. The fuck? Don't get slapped. Ha! <laughs> the fuck you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> no, who the fuck you talking to? Ha! <laughs> That's funny as fuck. That's a great oh, one. $50. Shit. Nigga, bye. $50. What the fuck is that going to pay? That ain't even paying gymnastics. That's gymnastics groceries. Is 100. That's a trip to Aldi. Groceries for who? That's a trip to Aldi. For two people. Feed that other bitch, not me. Yeah, don't be like this nigga. Nope, we don't even need to visit it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a speed date for him. Wait, that, that's not real. We're not. We're, is nah. a shit to Aldi for two people. Nigga, my food yesterday for DoorDash was $50. The nigga Whoa. on Instagram, thank you, baby, 
sent me lunch and bought a baby a Barbie van for my baby from Walmart shout for her birthday. You, shout out, shout right? Out shout out to you, brother. Shout out, wait, yeah, shout out to the other nigga too. Wait, I can't only shout out one nigga. The other nigga bought the hoverboard for baby too. He bought what? A hoverboard for the baby. Hoverboard for the baby. Shout out to Cuz. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to him. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's give it up for the sip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's give it up for the man to know what the fuck they want and how to get what they okay, want. Okay, so what's the difference between that Them and the sip? Them niggas ain't got to worry about it. I might have threw it at them. Ooh, what's the difference Play between that and right. a sip? A lot of dudes would call that a simp, so why is he not a simp? How is that a simp by caving into the bitch that you want? My father been with his wife for almost 20 plus years and he's mm -hmm. gonna take care of her. Mm -hmm. See, men don't know how to be man no more. It's like, who you trying to Wait, impress? so what makes a man a man? Taking care of a woman. A, a woman being a woman to me is taking care of a man in a home. Mm. So she does that, he does that. That's what you're saying. I believe she does in gender that, roles. I believe in, in gender roles, yes. Mm. I would, I, man. I loved. I but used to I love. But I think a simp. I think a simp. Is, I don't think a simp. Well, hold on, hold on. Simp let me, is, let me say is this. A pimp I think, for I think me. what a simp. Okay, we're not in the pimp world. In okay. today's dating world, I think a simp is a guy that does that but doesn't get anything in return from the woman. That's a simp. Okay, the dude that I'm talking about, I I'm fucks saying, with him. How you said, I if, fucks with him though. How, but but you said gender roles. How a woman when a when a guy provides the woman. I, re, I, I do certain nourishes. things back, yes. A simp is I may be like, guy, come get your dinner, I cook dinner exactly. today. Exactly, a simp is a guy that provides that gets none of that in return. Okay, I'm not talking about them though. Yeah. These are niggas that know what they want, and they, you know, like, I don't know. Um, I don't know about them other niggas. Last time we spoke, our <laughs> most- Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock, shot o'clock, y'all. How much time we got? We got about, okay, we got about 10 minutes left on this trip. This nigga with the walkthrough. Yeah, 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 we're gonna walk through. <laughs> These cameras look good. I hey, feel like all, the man we, when this I walk the, through. This is the first episode in a new spot. Can we make some noise for that, please? Hey, congrats. Yeah. Right, toast to your new shit. Hey, toast hey, to hey, your hey, new shit. Hey, I had to bring Cali. I had to bring toast Cali to his on. New shit. I had to bring Callie on. It, it was like, all right, the first episode, who, I, who do I want on? It was literally nobody else I could imagine other than Callie Paradise for the first episode in a new spot. So shout out to Callie. And I promise y'all this will not be, y'all will see her a lot more than I don't you know think. if he's lying, but I'm a cancer, so a tear. No, I'm not lying. I, look, Callie, I'll fuck with you like I grew up with you. Better yet, like I'm stuck with you. It for is, real. you know. We, you know, we when let's people toast. give us nice words, we'll know how let's to feel. Toast again, toast again. Let's so. give it up for two cancers, yo. Three, 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 three cancers in the building. Three crabs. Three cancers and two Sagittarius. <laughs> That's the hell of a Shout out to the Sag. Shout out to the Sag. Shout What's out that to the nigga? Sag. Um, Smitty. He's, he's just Smitty. I don't know. He's just Smitty. Yeah? He's like a Gemini. He probably is a Gemini. <laughs> he's just what he is. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Desi is a, <laughs> he's an uh, alien. Desi's March 23rd. Is that a, what's that? And Desi's a girly girl. It don't even matter. She, she was is. with us the whole she time. Is. Okay. So so it was three, it was three girls in the in the crib earlier, and Desi was literally following them around. She said, fuck the niggas. She yeah. was outside with us when we one smoked. Of the girls. Right. She Shout had to, to Desi. She was all up under my leg. She likes skirts and shit, I think so. We need to get her a skirt. She's she's a dagger. You gonna get her a skirt? What does that mean? I what is a, a dagger? Uh, a dyke. I had a. Ah, uh, what? How I do you know she's a dyke? She oh, humps. like she like girls. She humps. Oh, I thought she meant she humped girl dogs. She's on boy dogs. She's never humped a girl dog. So she's not a dyke. Wait, she has some. Uh, wait, I don't know. She might have. I'm so Lucy. confused. She might have. I don't Lucy. have animals. She I don't humped know. boy dogs. She's a dyke. <laughs> My mama wouldn't let us have those. So but, wait, what else for the dating show? So I don't forget. What else is important for these right, men? So it's gonna be five people. Don't be boring. Don't be boring. Conversations. If you can't go to conversation, I'm gonna ask good questions that Callie comes up with. I'm gonna host it. I'm Make a host sure they're not married. I'm gonna host it. Yeah, you can't be married, motherfucker. So I'm gonna host it. I'm gonna host the blind date. Five dudes. <laughs> We're gonna select five lucky men, and the if you win it, when you win it, the please date, bring gifts. Cuddy's gonna be one. The date is Flowers, gonna, the sorry. date. The date is gonna be fully Tequila. paid. So if you win, you'll have a date fully paid for either by <laughs> me or the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> dress to a great nice. Spot. Dress nice. I'm a sponsor. Do I see them at the end? At the end, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not going to be off of. Oh, so they 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 mouth game got to be up to par gotta because be I'm on only going to know from conversation. Your pimping can't be slipping. Mm. Yeah, feel pimping me? Pimping cannot be slipping. Don't even be pimping this way. Your pimping can't be slipping. <laughs> Certain words are triggers. <laughs> Yeah. But then afterwards, me and Callie gonna go on a date. But I feel like compare. I was. You said so. The nigga don't even matter. Yeah, me, <laughs> I'm gonna steal her from you at the end of the day. 
even though we already established that he don't pay bills, so I don't know how he's gonna steal me. But matter. okay, with that fifty dollars, it's going to that ain't gonna work. Way. That is not gonna work. Fifty dollars in a crazy that ain't gonna even. Piece. That's barely gonna get my nails done. I don't let people eat me out into their mind. You say you don't let people eat you out unless you don't use a dental nail. I wasn't talking about eating you out. You said my mouth, your mouth, mouth piece. Mouth piece. Oh. Yeah, I was talking. <laughs> see, 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 that's how I go. Get your mind out the gutter. I was just talking about regular words. My bad. I was just talking about regular words, Mama. Come on now. But, Sorry, but if we are speaking on that, dental down. You, I, ain't I know lie. that's strange, huh? You ever had hair with a condom? You better get a real whack. good condom. <laughs> I've never had hair with a condom. It's first time for everything. No, point? it's not the first time for everything, but... What's the point? He said, what's the point? Safety. She said safety. safety. Shit. Right? What, 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 I want dental damn, too. I don't want the nigga... Sex, though, right? huh? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hell no. Oh, she, no she, she's protected. Definitely not. She, she spoke that on the last episode. Hold I on. do not fuck hold unprotected. On. Hold on, hold on. Can Unless I, I really fuck Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. Dental dam, how does that work exactly? So you're saying I'll put plastic wrap over your pussy when I eat you out? Yes. Do you feel that? Like, does it feel good? I ain't really tried it. I don't let people eat me out like that. The niggas that eat me out is the nigga that? that is. Yeah, I'm already. Yeah, we don't wear shit. But. What, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> the nigga that I do shit with, we don't wear shit. Right. But I'm saying, I don't know. I don't care. To me, have you ever tried it? Is what no, I'm saying. No, I have not because I don't let people eat booty me call. out. I know, but I really, I'm not big on head. What, Unless no, you my nigga. You don't like big on not, a guy giving you head? Because niggas are nasty. They be eating. I be feeling like they be wanting to eat everybody out. Nah. Well, That's not a thing. When a nigga be like, oh, I no. eat your, I drink your bath water. That be no, making me nervous. No, what the fuck? No. It's only. They it's, tell me that though. It's only good quality. Selection. Our niggas be like, man, I want to eat your pussy. It's only, again. In I, Instagram though. Instagram, they'll again, DM me again, that. Again, again, we went, what did we say earlier? You could tell when but a dude. But I don't know how many you can tell when a dude is a dude by the way he just moves. So what does that mean? He's not a dude? Not a He's man's, a thirsty man. dude, yeah. so that nigga eating everybody out. Yeah, that's not a man. So that's man. what I'm saying. I'm I'd be just, nervous. If I'm just randomly DMing pretty chicks, I want to eat you so out. Just, you don't know what she could have a fucking BV. Like, what are you talking that about? That bitch could be out? HIV. Yeah, like, what <laughs> are you what talking, talking about? about? Eat her out. Like, no, like you have to really. Guys, you need to slow it down, you know, and make sure y'all mouth y'all get your mouth tested. A lot of people don't do that. I know this is like random as fuck, but we gotta Wait, talk about you can it. Get your mouth tested. Desi, come sit by me. I already know you coming, girl. Come on. You can get your mouth tested? Yes, you do. They swab your mouth. They swab the back of my throat. That's how you know bitches ain't really getting tested. Yo, Remy, yo. What yo. the fuck are y'all doing out there? A lot of women don't get their joint yo, mouth tested. Got, got joint, tested. But, but get your mouth. Bitches, is they getting it swabbed in the back of that throat is what I'm asking. What does that test for? Gonorrhea, STDs, a lot of shit. Wait, you, you can me? get gonorrhea and chlamydia Anything through the mouth? Anything you can suck dick and get, you can get in your mouth. Really? Oh my God. I did not know that. Let's just educate the world. Because the yeah, strip club let's, niggas let's, be like, let's, oh, I can get hair raw. That's the most backwards shit. You want hair raw, but fuck with a condom. In the strip club? Well, oh, I wait, meet wait, the wait. niggas oh, yeah. at the strip club, but oh. they, be at, they be wanting hair. Men raw. want hair raw, but, but want to fuck with a oh, condom. Oh, you said that's backwards. I would never put nothing in my fucking mouth that I would never put in my pussy. Raw. Too hard. Make that shit make sense. I'm not going to hold you, bro. It's, it, they won't be able to hear you. So D Rock said that what, what, men what should get tested what, what, what and deal with a chick that gets tested. No, no, granted, yeah. That what you were saying? But get tested too, though. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, both people. Get tested, get, get Everybody together. mouth need to get to get tested. Shit, yeah. motherfuckers yeah. is ruthless with their mouths. That's <laughs> crazy. I'm just saying, and it be so many grown ass men that's older than me that's in mm. their fifties talking about, oh, I ain't know you get no STD from saliva. You sound stupid as fuck. Mm. Where the fuck was y'all at for the fucking health class? I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time. Oh, you that. never? Oh. I've, I never knew you could. I've never got my mouth tested, no. Oh. But I've been tested before. I've. I'm not gonna. I'm my, clean. You know, the last right one now, was clean. married. We all knew that he was married. So yes, I had to. I had to test my mouth because we got to make sure. You know. But him and his wife was great because <laughs> I was clean. <laughs> I'm clean. <laughs> no, the nigga was married. But you think about it, we doing shit raw. I had to go get tested. <clears throat> but they're very clean. He's a clean nigga. He um, should come back. What do okay, you? Okay, I'm talking too much. What do you feel about? <laughs> I'm too much. How do you? Okay, so the so the <laughs> the liquor's too kicking in. It's kicking. So the in. game with so you're. She don't want you to pick her up. No, she don't. So. You, so she likes the sun. She yeah. She she's on. The, she's in the sun right now. She's good because she. Come on, Daddy. Longer she's wherever the sun is, she's good. 
Right. She like these niggas. Come on. Come on, <laughs> She likes girl. women. Desi Come on, girl. Desi loves women. Go over there, Desi. She's right here, Desi. Right here, Desi. Look, Desi. She all right. Desi. She go where she wants. She a woman. We do what we want to do. I like your vibe with her. Because I'd, I'd be like, yo, Desi, what are you doing? We're women. We do what the fuck we want to do. Okay, so mm -hmm. the question from the audience for Callie was, where's the craziest place she's ever had sex? Oh, my phone. A truck. Can we get a towel, please? Uh, I guess the parking lot. I, had, I think I think it's I had a towel. I think it's okay though, really. Fuck it. If my phone broke, who gonna help that? Somebody sponsor me. <laughs> yeah. You got me. Wait, let's, let's show married wait. ass. Ain't you married? You Told you. She I'm just playing. They don't know who the fuck you is. Don't way. get nervous. He's now. sweating. She don't put it on him. Now. Are you married or not? <laughs> don't get nervous Are now. I'm gonna talk my shit. Uh, I pop my shit at all times. No, <laughs> you just been in a long ass relationship. It's common law marriage. <laughs> nah, nah, she got, she got, she got, she got. Oh, she gonna know who you talking no, about now because you said I, that. I, I, we already finished soon. Let her <laughs> I'm just talking shit. We're finished. He been right good. Now, she got, she got. <laughs> um. <laughs> 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 what's the craziest place you ever had sex? In? Okay, again, back to in the question. In a parking lot in the car. Um, so you joined the live recently and you were talking about your car experience. I was talking about that one. That was exactly the, that was the okay, last can one. You, can Mary you, dude, can that you, nigga's a freak. Can you break down to me the position you were talking about? Cause you said, <laughs> that nigga's I still the, don't know what position you were talking about. Cause you I'm said sorry, you were I'm sorry, I probably look ghetto as fuck wiping this shit, but I you, gotta wipe you it You told me you were in a position, I still don't know what position. Cause it's like. Okay, can can you demonstrate It's like we were please? in the back. Can you demonstrate okay, Not really, cause it ain't no two rows. Okay, you were in the back, okay. Like my head was down there. Your hand. Oh was... shit! Let me not open my legs. <laughs> my my head was down there, Freak bull. and he was in the back. Uh huh. Yeah, so I was like that. Like my booty was up arch. Yeah. I was at the bottom. Yeah. So upside down. It's simple. Okay, I, that's what I said. And he was like, but my no. back, like yeah. He was like, no, it was yeah, more. Yeah, so her hands on the ground like that, and her yeah. ass up. Yeah. It was lit. Tore that ass up, didn't Man, you? I was sore the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. <laughs> What's your wait? Is your phone good? Because I spilled. I, yeah, I I'm, spilled my liquor, y'all. I What's spilled the cup. What's your favorite and least favorite? I'm sorry. Part? What's this your is favorite like, and least? Favorite? I have to pick it up. Though. What's it's your gonna favorite? Me. Yeah, just walk through it. That's perfectly fine. What's your favorite? <laughs> What's your What's your favorite and? <laughs> wait, right, he hold was on, asking. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because they they won't be able to hear you. It's gonna sound weird. What's What are you Come doing? Come on, Desi. What's your favorite and least favorite part about car sex? Hold up. Yo, can y'all... At least favorite the, part? Uh, you know what I mean? I, I, like, I'm used favorite. to this shit being completely silent. I just need a little bit. You know what I mean? Least favorite? She looking my alcohol? Um, She's a fucking alcoholic. She's, <laughs> she tried she's to weird. take the Red Bull, too. She's very weird. Least favorite in sex or in general? Car sex. I don't favorite got and one. least favorite part. What do you like most? What do you like least about car sex? No space. But that does, that forces you to get creative. But that's the, what the, I like the least. <laughs> what? The I like car sex. I don't know. I don't have no, it no complaints. It forces you to get creative. I don't really have no complaints. I like being seen, so I don't give a fuck if people driving by. So. Could you fuck? Would you, have you fucked in front of a crowd? Swingers, yeah. I let people. Uh. I let two people eat me out. Oh, mm. it was other people watching? How many people watching? Shit, I don't know. It was people in the room. Yeah. <laughs> it was people. <laughs> I let a girl eat me out and a guy eat me out. At the he same ate time. the ass and she ate the area. Ooh. That was amazing. <laughs> now that is something that, yeah, I will use two men for. That's the threesome to me. Well, I don't want two dicks. I want two heads. It's two dicks two at the mouths. same time. A threesome or a train. <laughs> to me, I feel like, what's the difference? Why we got to switch it up with these women? That's what I don't like. It's a double it's standard. Sexist, yeah. yeah, it's a double standard. It but is it's what like it is. if we're being nasty, we're just being nasty. A woman is looked at different. She has two no. niggas fucking her at I don't the same buy, time. I say I want two dicks. I said I want two mouths. I want one nigga eating me out and one nigga eating my and ass. You think they're just gonna leave it at that? You think they don't? One nigga no can ass? fuck and one nigga gonna watch. Cause I like to be watched. So that's what is. That's yeah. My you, porn would be lit if I if I really did. Man, y'all better be have, happy. Do you, I don't, have any, do you have any shit on your OnlyFans? I don't. I'm still by myself on there. I don't want to just be with random man. Why not do it with a dude that you like see frequently? I don't really, cons I'm not consistent with these hoes. She does swap out. I don't out. like them. She swaps out every what? I do not swap out like that. Every what? Six months? I don't five got no months? more hoes. 
Last they time were married and I got rid of the lineup because they said were all you married and they were hoes like every like four. I five did months. say that shit, but now I don't want no hoes because they all married and they don't got enough money. So now we're just gonna just say fuck the hoes and we'll just take their money. Married hoes. I, I have, be trying. I got some friends that'll sign up. Can they be? They don't trick. Huh? <laughs> nah, they don't. They won't. They won't. <laughs> nah, they won't. They won't. I, I got some dudes, but I they am won't spoiled, trick. Spoiled, okay. If I call my dad now, and I can get, is, my dad's going to give okay, me what I want. What if you have a dude that spoils you and you have a dude that doesn't, but he makes up for it because he's a great vibe I and great disagree. sex? I disagree. That's a friend. But I'm just like, okay. <laughs> cool as a friend with benefits. No. Who said I want to give the benefit? So the only I really, way. I'm, I was raised by literally, I don't know if you hear me, what I was I, raised by, but it's kind of like, I'm, I'm not going to. what the people want to hear. Yeah, the people ain't gonna hear it. You never hear me say I'm fucking with a nigga and he's not taking care of me. Mm. Never. I'll be by myself before that. Another ten years. <laughs> like I said, I'll give you a I'll give you a fifty dollar Audi card. Yo ass with this fifty dollars. I don't know what the fuck all that's right, gonna all do. Right, I'm joking. That's I'm girly buying fucking like me. I'm joking. I'll My give you, steak uh, is like twenty. I'll give you a seventy dollar Audi card. I like card. lobster and shit. I'm joking. Do you know how much lobster costs? I'll give you a seventy dollar Audi card. <laughs> I take care of myself very well. So I'll give you a seventy dollar Audi car. You don't got food stamps because I don't. I don't. What the fuck? We need to get it to me. Like what the fuck? <laughs> but I know someone that's getting two hundred a month. I need some food stamps. Since twenty twenty, what the like, fuck? Like listen, you had a food stamp card. And, you me. know, you got food stamps. Me, your baby mama. We could use her card. You got food stamps. I don't want no kids, my mama. I'm done. My kids are sixteen and six. This guy's straight <laughs> He said, I ain't got kids, but I'll give you kids. I, I want a marriage before just a baby. I don't want a kid. I want kids, though. You know oh, you want to be married? He's going to be, he's going to be, he's going to okay. be on the joint. He's going to be on the date. What's your sign? Yeah. Are you a cancer? He's you already gonna be, said he, that. You hey, a listen, cancer like me. My man is going, going to work. Right. He's going to work right now. Are you the 22nd? You're the cussed. I'm he, July 21st. I made it the last day. I'm he's July 21st. Right uh, don't, uh, don't cancel. Don't cancel. No cancer, what? I, 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 said, I said, don't cancel him because. Oh no, I so, love cancer. So my man's right here. He's, I love cancer. He's, he's gonna be on the. He's gonna be on the blind. Did I drink date all my liquor? Ooh, I didn't. He's gonna be on the blind date joint. Gonna be one of them. He's gonna be one of them. He's all right. right now. I like flowers. I like food. Yeah. I ain't. I ain't judging you right now. Hey, 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 hey Kevin, stop giving the Chico. Stop. That ain't a Chico. Everyone's getting the Chico. It's life. Everyone got the same on, fair chance. Like, yo, I like yellow flowers, pink flowers. I like tequila. Tell me what you want. Don't tell you. I already told them, so it's up to you. I'm talking to them. Yeah, Cali. <laughs> Cali. <laughs> this nigga, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Yeah, Cali. This nigga said New Balance. Tell him to step it you up. got money? Tell them that ain't enough, Cali. Uh, you know how like some people dress up like they don't got enough. good style, so they like they, because they got money. We are. We're going to find out on the speed dating show. So y'all tap in because we're going to find out if he about that shit or if he not. This nigga is stupid. We got our first contestant. <laughs> Mr. Married Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Married Ass. <laughs> we, That's we, your name, Mr. Married Ass. You want me to tell the world how old, how old I am? She was? Okay, you know oh, what? I don't give a fuck. Because I look great. I'm 32 years you old. I'm 32. You do look good, Callie. And I don't like young niggas. Well, don't tell Ooh. me your age. You do look good, Callie. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I don't like young men. You do look good. My last husband was good, 50. He was 20 years older than me. He's 50. I say this all the time. Beautiful women give me life. But not just physically. When they're innerly beautiful and then the outerly matches that, which is you. Thank you, Your sir. outerly matches your inner. And you're, I mean, you're a great vibe. Did you're... we wipe your phone off? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just good. Thinking. No, no, no. Okay. You've been a great vibe since the first day we linked and met. <laughs> Um, this was honestly, I just wanted this to be talk. I have, I mean, I have notes, but we went over one of the fucking 10 mm. notes I have. And, um, I just wanted us to I talk. talk a lot. I just wanted us to chop it up and I just wanted to put the, put it out there that we're going to do the blind dating episode. And I'm looking very much forward to that. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Um, and like I said, you know, whoever's coming along, just bring your shit. I would do it myself, but that'll be conflict of interest. Cause like I said, but I, I do want to know the ideal like date that they gonna take me on. That's questions to ask. Ideal dates, cause I want to hear what they say. Well, you 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah you'll, don't tell, tell me. me. Tell me your questions. So like I do want to question. Have to tell me your one of the questions could be. I'm a I'm a I'm a ask them. You okay. Know, on a blind curve. Yeah, you ideal dates. Um, I like a manly man. So when I say that, I like niggas that could fix shit. Mm. 
A lot of dudes ain't got a toolbox. A lot of men don't know how to do nothing. Don't know how to hang a TV gonna, or nothing. I ain't gonna lie when I say, you know what I mean? You I can't got, hang shit? Can I, you fix a toilet? Are you talking to me? Yeah. I literally did this whole crib by myself. Okay, I'm just asking. Can you hang up some shit? I literally did this hammer? whole crib by myself. Can I, I have a toolbox down there. Where I'm the just saying, in the, in the last marriage, I'll never forget one day when I had to plunge the toilet like hella late at night. And I was married. Well, that's I, I'm so. Sorry, I don't I'm want sorry, a man I'm, that's I'm not. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. I will never do that shit again. I'm sorry oh God, to hear that. I won't. I promise that much. But um, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. No, you know how to I, your toilet? N- huh? I'm just making sure. She she's vetting her first contestant as we speak. But I'm not gonna have y'all talk back and forth because <laughs> the audience won't be able to hear you on oh, the mic. True. Um, so we'll just save it for the episode. But Cali, motherfucking paradise. Uh, nonetheless, I appreciate you for pulling up. This was just the first of many. This was, like I said, this was just small talk. <laughs> he likes you, Kelly. I don't know what his ass said. He likes you a he lot. Talking I can shit. Tell. He's cheesing. I've never seen him smile before. He's a cancer. This we is my first that time I've ever people. seen him smile. He's over there cheesing at you right now. He's funny as hell. The dating mm-hmm. episode. I can't they wait. all cheesy. I can't wait for this blind date episode. <laughs> well, you, you, you know. Nigga, you, all of y'all, you too. You too. Yeah, Kelly. Mr. Rub Oil, don't forget. Put him out. Yeah, don't Callie. Pop, don't act. Yeah, nigga Callie, acting like like there. don't act. Don't. She said, "Mr. Rub Oil." Yeah, <laughs> nigga she, acting like he don't know. He, don't he, act. He, don't he act. Rubbed, he rubbed the oil. On, let me see. He rubbed the oil on these things right here. He did, and he, he got the back of the heels. <laughs> okay, got, got a little. Oh. Hey, got, nah, they won't know. <laughs> nah, what, they won't know what she's talking about. It's cool. It was just part of the team. I just needed a little oil on the. No, it's part of the production team. No, 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 no. Seriously, don't step into the camera. Seriously, don't. Don't step into the camera. You'll literally make matters Y'all worse. Y'all is horrible. He's part of the like, production like, team. <laughs> That's all it is. He's part of the production <laughs> team. But um, nah, nonetheless, production was great. Nah, no. Can I ask you one question? They can't hear you. So when it comes to a man, what do you look for? Um, I look for a provider because my father is a great provider. I look for someone who can be respectful, someone who knows how to be rah-rah and put me in check because I do kind of need a man that could put me in line sometimes. Understandable because I am on saying all the time, you know. So I'm just being honest. You know, you got to know when to be a man and when to check me. You know what I mean? And know yeah. and know how to make sure I can receive it. I'm big on someone that's family oriented because my mama got 10 kids. Seven sisters, three boys. So I love to be around my family. Someone who's not insecure. Yeah. <laughs> so, someone who's not insecure because obviously me and who I am. So you got to be really sure of yourself and just know me. Shit, and I don't think it as broke. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Pretty a good sums answer. It up. Well, listen, um, I'm going to find four dudes that match. Four? Oh, we four, said four other ones because we already have one. Okay. I'm going to find four other dudes. Five dudes total that match that criteria. That's a little cut. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna find five dudes total that match that you know criteria. We might do a part one, part two. That'll be able to. If the first cast ain't good, if if no one get picked, we're running back. And like I said, and like I said, I'm a fully either myself or a sponsor is going to take care of the date. Whoever you pick, y'all gonna go on a full date on behalf of myself or a sponsor. I want y'all to have a good time. Of course, I'll eat. I, cause I, cause I too. This nigga think he gonna win already. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I no, really, I admire what you're on. I really do. I really do. I'm, I'm rooting for you. I vouch for him. I'm, he's gonna be on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We're we'll see. see. We're we'll gonna see. We'll see the lineup. Um, I like. Well, you what know? you got going on after this? Oh, you going to the uh, joint, tonight? Right? Come turn up with me. I'll be I at mean, a regular they'll, event. They'll, they'll be gone by. The, I mean, this oh, will come out way out. This okay, will come well, out way fuck after. it. Just yeah. follow my Instagram and see what I got going on. What's your Instagram? Hold on. Hold Cali on, Cali underscore Paradise One. Cali underscore Paradise One. I do makeup too, so make sure y'all start, you know, yeah. reaching out to book me for your makeup. You need to start making content. I do need to really need start, to start booking that content. shit. Like, you, need you know, to start making content for whatever, I really whatever do. it is you do. Your stripper content is amazing, by the way. Thank you. I'm about to do a promo video, so it's very good. Cali, par- wait, Cali underscore, underscore Paradise, Paradise, C A L I underscore Paradise, P A R A D I S E number one. Because everybody don't know how to spell, probably, so you're right. Let me spell that out. No, right? Uh, some dude, like, does no. that does music, he tagged, he, you, like, were, I don't know where you in were In his at. video? Not in his video, but what you were at, me? like, I don't know, you were at, like, you were on some steps. 
And you were just going crazy. On the steps? It looked like an apartment was building. Was I twerking? It, yes. It looked like an apartment building. Oh, I did his promo video. I yeah, did promo videos yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, artists yeah. that... Let me say this. Yeah. You are very talented. Thank you. Jesus. That <laughs> video. That was some subtle shit. That was some shit put together too. Right. Last minute. <laughs> but you went crazy on that joint. I'm like, damn, Callie. And you're athletic. I really should teach twerk classes. I really like no, twerking. No, you really would. Like, do, like, yo, I'm trying to tell you. It's happened with Callie. Like, she... Is very talented. Like, I really should teach some twerk classes. Ladies, let me know. You feel me? If you, if you would like a twerk class. I'm trying to tell y'all. The video I saw, I'm like, damn. I like to practice nothing but twerking in the mirror. Yo, the video I saw <laughs> was crazy. Like, you can control once you get the time, ain't it? Huh? You can control once you get the time. Uh-huh. You can control both booties. I said Man. both booties. Both booty both cheeks. cheeks. <laughs> both cheeks. Both cheeks. <laughs> Shout out to Callie's cheeks. They fucking liquor is kicking. She has money bags on her cheeks. Shout out I to do. Her dollar cheeks. signs. Dollar signs. Not money bag. Dollar yeah. signs. Yeah. Because yeah. his ass is worth some money. There we go. <laughs> well, listen, Callie, I'm going to bring you back in a little bit. But before that, we're going to do the I blind dating episode. And I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to host it. I'm going to be on my fucking house. We're going to see. Shit. I hope you bring some cute niggas. Yeah. You, well, you won't be able to see them till the end. <laughs> You won't be able to see it until the end. She wasn't. She was. She I was had, not saying that towards you. She had zero intentions towards you. Don't throw yourself in the fire, brother. He had cancer. No, no, no. He had cancer. We take shit personal anyway. Yeah, she wasn't talking then, about you. We'd be like, "What the fuck she you mean? What the fuck general. you mean?" She was just saying in general. <laughs> you got raw wave. You know what I mean? I got raw wave. You feel yeah. me? You can sing. Wave. <laughs> and yeah, show me your talents them days. Uh, if you okay, can sing, so we're gonna have a talent if you can sing, okay. you better sing. Boom, we're gonna have a if you can rap, aspect. better make a rap Tell about jokes, me. If you can make you laugh, yeah, I love if, to if laugh. You, I'm a, a I laugh. love comedy. Okay, so we're gonna have a, a talent aspect. Show something on it as that's well. interesting about ah, you. Ah, I can't wait. I'm gonna host it. I gotta know something interesting about the character. Doctor Love Day. Okay. Dr. Love Day. I'm going to host it. It's going to go down. Dr. Love Day. Hey. On, and, and you get a date with Callie. And we're, I already got your next guest, too. Yeah. For your next, uh, for your next oh, date yeah, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring her on. Bring her on. Bring her on. Bring her on. I'm, I'm going to do one for myself as well, y'all. I'm gonna we, have a, yeah, I'm going to help find the women. So I'm let me know, y'all. DM me. for myself, too. Hey, granted, yo, you got to be in it, though. You, 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 I can't I, be in it because I'm going to find the girls. But I want you in it. Members of conflict of interest. But I, nah, I don't care. I want you and in it. And you don't spend money like that. You don't spend money. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to be in it. Um, <laughs> respectfully. I'll take you to Audi. I don't want to go there. Throw it in the cart. This nigga keeps saying Audis. <laughs> Just throw it in the bag. <laughs> throw it in the cart. I got you. Why only there? Yo, you want a date with Kelly? This you're, nigga. You're going to. Where we going, Kelly? I don't know. It's on him. I'll decide by the time the he time decides. comes around. No, no, no. Yeah, I decide. Look. Uh -huh, this nigga said he decide. Look, 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 he he decide where he about to go be able to hear with you. his girl. <laughs> All right. On me. On me. On you. All right. We gonna. Right. I'm gonna hold him to that shit. Yeah, they want me to hear you, bro. Well, shout out to Rock. Well, I'm listen. gonna hold him to that. That right, he let, said on him. Let's give our proper outro, y'all. That was have, on him. Y'all have her IG. You can follow it in the bio in the link in the description, whatever may have you. Um, again, shout out to Callie for popping up. Shout out to Callie for popping up on the show. Shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you for being the shout first. Out, shout out to the whole yeah, yeah, right. the, whole, the whole shebang. The so whole the new shebang house, was new house and shit. New house, new blessings. It looks I nice, this by the way. I'm never leaving this. I don't need to leave this crib for nothing. I have everything I need. All I need is a freak bitch on my lap, and I'm my life is complete. When you, you know, when you're ready to take care of a bitch on your lap. But on the real, um, I'm going to catch up with y'all next time. If y'all tuning in, whether you're listening or watching, I truly appreciate y'all. Make sure that y'all tune in. Subscribe, like. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you can find you, your audio or video podcast source day by day is there and waiting for you. And I truly appreciate y'all for tuning in. I truly appreciate Cali Paradise for coming along, being the first guest to the new spot. I truly appreciate my dogs in the background for being a live audience for this episode. It was an absolute blast. I enjoyed it. And that's how we do shit. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that's... <laughs> shot make o'clock. Shot o'clock. Make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. We gone. Peace. Good.